he's always saying like, oh, I'm uh, all the podcast. I listened to a lot of interviews with McAfee the past few days. And he's like, mm-hmm. I'm here in a, uh, you know, a Faraday cage. It's like a whole room. Nothing get in and out of. It's like no one can ever know where I am. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, fucking right. Brother, who can, who wants to know where you are besides the fucking the IRS. IRS, you know? And so that's really when he becomes the new phase of like McAfee is like sort of like an anti-intelligence, you know, and he's, he talks a lot about the CIA and this kind of stuff. Like, okay, great, fine. Yeah. But like, you're not being hunted by them, brother. Like, well, he sees an opportunity with the Epstein thing. He like weasels his way into like being somehow part of this narrative. Yeah. Uh, he has nothing to do with anything. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm sorry. It's like, uh. I mean, listen, folks, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I would love it if that was the case. I mean, I wouldn't love it, but you know, I'd like it if that was the case, but there's nothing here. Well, I don't know. It's like, I don't know if people think that like, oh, he worked at Lockheed and booze and they got him to infect every computer with like, but first of all, the government doesn't need to do that. No. They built the internet. Yeah. Also, they own I, it. They already own all of it. I think people just have this vague idea that he just kept saying the CIA is going to kill me, the government's going to kill me. Yeah, we used to call that people th- that say that crazy, and now everyone's like, "Hey, listen, this guy." Yeah, yeah. Because the, the, listen, if the government was going to kill him, um, it, well, he's seventy-five years old. Just give him bad drugs. <laughs> like, don't. Why would you wait until he's in jail to hang? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, he owes something like twenty-three million dollars in taxes, and he's doing the same exact thing that he did in 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 '08, is where he has everything else in other people's names, money money tied up in a bunch of assets. A lot of it's in cryptocurrency. You know, I again, I listen to him on a bunch of crypto podcasts, which. By the way, if you want to hear words mispronounced, that is the place to go. Don't even look at me, brother. Uh, but he, you know, he talked about, oh, I know who Satoshi is. Here's the thing. I also know who Satoshi yeah, is. Yeah, me too. It's Satoshi. It's Satoshi. The guy, it's literally the guy's name. Yeah. Yeah. And he is a Japanese man named Satoshi who lives at 1147 <laughs> Bellevue in Los Angeles, California. But... You know, it's, 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 he's trying to make it sexier than it is. And I get it. You know, you owe the government a lot of money. You don't want to get busted. I don't think people should pay taxes. Uh, You know, I I think we should end the fed. Absolutely. But, uh, but he's trying to make it seem like it's something it's not. And he's trying to add this air of mystique around it. So when he eventually does get arrested, he, you know, it might become like a political issue. The thing is when McAfee gets arrested, nobody really gives a fuck. Like there yeah. isn't a huge outcry. Also the same thing with his suicide. It was like, it just came and went. Yeah. It was like a couple days, really a day of people going like, oh, McAfee's dead. Like QAnon, blah, blah. Like he said the government was going to kill him. It's like, but then that's not true. Yeah. The you know, he's, scumbag. he's a pathetic, sad old man who had teenage girls shit in his mouth, raped a woman, ended like human beings lives for no reason, uh, and then hanged himself at 75 years old. Because he's a coward. Okay, not paying taxes is actually super brave. <laughs>